Bizarre Brain Comics. Ooh, he looks like a wild gorilla. Ooh, he's big. He's the guy from Rampage. And that, what? That's Planet of the Apes. That's the wrong one. Ah, uh, that's him. That's the one. That's King Kong. Yeah. What's this? Oh, well, he's a real big one. Don't know what we're going to do about him. Oh, <clears throat> King Kong. You know the name of King Kong. Ten times as big as a man. Hey, Bongani. You're in my chair. Get over there. Ha! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Bizarre Brain Comics. This is kind of in honor of uh, the new movie Godzilla vs. King, uh, correction, Godzilla vs. Kong, which opens this week. I thought I'd talk a little bit about King Kong. King Kong, yes. King Kong. <laughs> He's a big guy in a big book. Yeah. And this was, uh, now this was originally done as a two-parter, a two-issue miniseries, you might say from um, Gold Key Comics in 1968. And I have been unable to find the actual date when this reprint was done, but based on the fact that it's obviously 70s, and it says, and it says here, the original version of the greatest adventure ever to ever to of all time, I think it was, um, uh, reprinted in conjunction, not officially, of course, uh, with the release of the, uh, I think it was 1976, yeah, 1976, um, maybe it was 77, uh, King Kong remake, one which uh, starred Jessica Lange and Jeff Bridges. And this is now, it says Gold Key, but it says up here in the corner, Whitman. Now, uh, Gold Key eventually changed names, becoming Whitman. I think they changed owners in there. And this book was, uh, I have no idea who did the, uh, the adaptation for it. It doesn't say. But the artist was, I've got to read it because this is a difficult name, uh, Alberto Giolitti, with the cover done by George Wilson. Now, I've talked about Alberto Giolitti before. He did a lot of work for Gold Key in the, uh, in the 60s and 70s. He's probably best remembered for, um, for his many years doing the Star Trek comics. And he also did uh, um, Turok, Son of Stone. Uh, dinosaur versus... Eight Indian, American Indians and cavemen, uh, if you're not familiar with that, um, also from that era, as well as doing various other projects. He did some gun smoke, he did a few issues of Tarzan, and he did Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. And I, I don't even know what all else he did. He was a great art, good artist. Okay, so we'll just talk just a little bit here. Uh, uh. King Kong. For those who know King Kong, King Kong is a 1933 monster movie. It's produced by Marion C. Cooper and Ernest B. Shodzak. I think that's how you pronounce it. When the story was by Edgar Wallace and Marion C. Cooper. And it starred Fay Ray. Robert Armstrong and Bruce Cabot, and had the great stop motion uh, special effects by Willis O'Brien. These were, and this was in the uh, early days of that. So that was 
those kind of effects. That was that was the state of the art, and it blew people away. Just watched it earlier today. It still blows me away. I love that kind of stuff. So and you saw saw my apes here, and this one here, this figure here is of course actually King Kong, but this one is from the uh, 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 Peter Jackson uh, remake from what was it, 2007, 2008, something like that. So he doesn't look like the same King Kong, but it was the same story. And now, let's visit Skull Island <laughs> and King Kong. Yes, King Kong. That's a big one. Tabloid size. And I bought this several years ago. It was at a, uh, um, marked down at a comic shop. Of course, it was. Now, yeah, this features, as you can see by the biplanes here, this features the story from the original, the original movie. Now there was uh, a uh, a novelization published, and has been reprinted many times. I I got it years ago and read it. Frank, in fact, Frank Frazetta twice painted covers for different printings of that. But I wanted to talk a little bit here before we get into it. Is uh, the cover painting here? Uh, George Wilson he did a lot. Mo probably most of the uh, uh, painted covers for for Gold Key in uh, later 60s and 70s <clears throat> for all kinds of Tarzan, uh, 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 Turok, all uh, all these others, and he did, does a great job. Now I want to show you here on the back is basically like a like a pinup. <laughs> Get it high enough so that you can see the whole thing. Yeah, that ought to do it. And uh, <clears throat> basically, like a pen, but what's neat here is because you see the painting without the uh, without the title there. And you can see in the composition for this painting, it w was of course to allow for the uh, for the for the title there. Now he. Uh, this has got a like basic X-shaped composition, and it leads the eye around. Now, <clears throat> go like this. You see the title, King Kong. You can see the title, King Kong. And it catches your eye. With, uh, Kong's arm up here with, uh, with the girl. <clears throat> his arm leads you down into here. You see his face, and then the, the direction... That that plane is going visually that does the same thing it takes you across over here where he's crushing the plane it just frames that title right there and then body brings you on down you can see the machine gunning right onto the top of the building and then right onto the big airplane right here which also helps to frame but or could also of course composition works backwards this large very prominent aircraft leads your eye right in it's right up the figure you see the, that there's some action and it brings you right back to the title it's a nice bit of composition there okay alberto giolitti <clears throat> he did some great work i'm just going to go through this kind of briefly you, you probably know the story at least there's he come, this guy comes, he's there to the ship in New York, or talks to, to Denim, uh, the Wanderer, and they're going, <clears throat> got a project, he's going to go make a movie, but he can't get a, get an actress who do it. So Denim goes out into New York, he helps this girl, Ann Darrell, and they, uh, and gets her to, to play the part. Because he, and here they are doing some, some test shots and this map up here shows you 
their general route from all the way from New York through the Panama Canal, across the Pacific, past Hawaii, to Japan, down south of Sumatra, into the Indian Ocean. But anyway, I wanted to, this is nice, you can clearly see it's on a ship, got the beautiful lady here, the guy there operating the camera. You can clearly see it on the ship, and it to tells you a lot. And story telling. And here she is doing doing some, some stuff, uh, testing uh, costumes. But meanwhile, they just, this is just a greatly abbreviated and it turns out and then the first mate have kind of fallen in love together yeah and here they are and they're finally finding out where they're going to go and it's to got he's got the map skull skull island here's the thing and then they find it chapter two it's it said it's kind of weird it has to be because it would be long they talk about so they're going to the uh, to the island here. It's a really nice ship right there. And this is neat because you're seeing it as if from the jungle on the island. Seeing the ship and the boat arriving. That's, that's a nice bit there. Now, Giolitti, of course, he had lots of uh, photographic reference. He had uh, took pictures of himself and, and and friends and acquaintances as models for his, for his figures so he knew he knew what he was doing as well as having all kinds of props to draw from weapons and and tools and the like here they are they got the boom 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 found find the village on the on the island and here's they got the ceremony and the dance going on and there's the huge wall with the big gate And then they're spotted by the uh, by the natives. They're not happy. And then they decide they want the girl. He says we must leave woman of gold as a gift for Kong. Can't say I blame him. Blondes are scarce here. Yeah. But just some good good figure. Except of course they were. Well, maybe Julie didn't know or didn't care, or it wasn't his up to him because it was uh, whoever did the coloring. He may have done the coloring uh, himself, but they looks like they made the uh, the natives Caucasian, or at least light skinned, and they were supposed to be darker. Actually, in the movie, they used uh, well, they may very well have depended depending on where it was, whereabouts it was in the in the Indian Ocean, but they were definitely supposed to be darker darker skin. And here they're taking off, going back to the boat, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna go for that deal, even though he tries to trade a bunch of uh, his his women for them. Okay, they take off and they get back to the boat, and the drums have started again. And that night on the ship, nice interiors, porthole you can tell it's a ship. Hmm, <laughs> this uh, this bulkhead behind these figures looks like it could have come out of one of his. Uh, 